Hey, what's up, Reefers? While the 17 gallon drop off tank is cycling, I figure it would be a good time for a little story. So, today I want to share with you guys how I first got into this hobby and also my first tank. This was in year 2000, so video was not yet popular, so please bear with me and my photos here. So, 16 years ago, my friend Wilson and I walked into a local fish store called Congressional Aquarium. We had a plan to each start a freshwater tank. Congressional Aquarium is a decently sized store, but back then they only had a few tanks dedicated to saltwater stuff. We were immediately attracted to the small saltwater section. Wilson kept looking at this baby box fish while I kept going back to this bicolor blenny that would perch inside an urchin skeleton. It was the coolest thing ever. So right then and there, we decided that we had to go salt water. It just so happened that I have a friend that used to work in another, in another fish store and he was able to hook us up with a pretty good deal on the tank stand, light fixture and filter setup for only $200. So Wilson went with a bull front around 30 gallon and I went with a 30 gallon glass tank that came with the tank, the stand, a VHO light fixture and a skilter. A skilter is a filter and skimmer combo that never quite skimmed right. Uh, but for $200, I think this is an amazing deal for the package. It was my first reef tank setup, it did not have a sum, and this would be a theme for all my tanks until the more recent ones. While I had a lot of experience with freshwater tank, this was my very first saltwater setup. And there were a lot of hard lessons learned along the way. For this tank, I went with crushed corals with lots and lots of dry rocks. I remember how frustrated I was with aquascaping because I was doing it with water and sand already in the tank. I would never be happy with what I had in terms of aquascaping and I would always ask Wilson to help tweak it. And like someone who was young and new to the hobby, I was super impatient and thought I would be the exception to the rules, of course. For example, at one point I managed to jam 13 fish into this tiny 30 gallon tank and I even started a thread on Reef Central to brag about it. Oh my gosh, thinking back, that was super embarrassing. Needless to say, I was flamed big time in that thread, but I do remember some people were being nice about how they informed me that I was a jackass because they had been through that same phase and they understood what I was going through. That kindness left an impression and since then I made an effort to be a kind inappropriate reefer. This 30 gallon tank had been restarted three times. The first time the setup was a mess. It was a mixed bag of crushed coral, boulder rocks, and jam packed of fish. The second time, I was a little bit more educated from all the information I got browsing Reef Central. I went with sand bottom, less rocks, and I bought an additional power compact light fixture to supplement the VHO in order to keep corals with higher light demand. I also went with a tank that needs less maintenance. At this point, I think I had a pair of clowns, a Midas goby, a six line, and a blue tang. Still a lot of fish, but getting better. Unfortunately, this tank crashed due to a cracked heater. But somehow, the female clown that I inherited from my coworker survived the crash and went on and lived with me for a long time, I think it was seven years, and she was my favorite fish. The third iteration of this 30 gallon tank was even more natural looking. It looked like I just kind of threw in a bunch of random rocks and corals and left the tank alone. I think at this point, I was losing interest in this hobby because life got busy and I got a girlfriend. So just FYI, if my current tank started looking like crap, I probably got a girlfriend. The third iteration of this 30 gallon tank did not last as long because I was getting ready to move out for college. Once I moved to college, I started a 10 gallon nano reef tank that really got me hooked onto the hobby. There was a fantastic aquarium right next to school and they always had new and weird stuff coming in. So my tank had a lot of new and weird stuff all the time. But that's a story for another video. So this was my story for my very first 30 gallon reef tank. If you like this, hit that like button. If you enjoy listening to me rambling about my old tanks, I would love to tell you about my 10 gallon leaf fish nano reef tank and my 60 gallon mixed reef tank next time. I would also love to hear about stories from your first reef tank. 
It would be awesome if you share in the comments or if you decide to make a video about your first tank, be sure to let me know as well. Until then, I will talk to you next time.